Hello everybody, Hassan here. I am an engineer, I have an MBA, and I am ultimately an investor. And the mission of this channel is to democratize information for free so that we can all have the same levels of opportunities in this competitive world. So today, guys, I want to talk about CRISPR slash Cas9. I want to talk about the basic gene editing technology behind all of this. Um, and before we do that, please guys subscribe to this video hit that like button smash that like button guys just underneath this video you can subscribe you can like this video and can even hit the notification bells so that you can get our videos faster to you and again this is free information guys you can always share it with your friends family and ultimately raise awareness of this space we really try to do a great job here in this channel to really quote unquote dumb down things so that the average citizen can really understand this information and they can understand this technology uh, that we cover uh, in this video, for example, CRISPR. So what I'll do here, guys, is I will resize my face here and we will look at, we will look at CRISPR Cas9. This is CRISPR Therapeutics, the company, the public company that we've covered in the past. And they have a web page dedicated to this technology, CRISPR Cas9. You don't really have to worry about the uh, acronym of CRISPR. I mean, you can. I mean, it is written here if you really want to read it, but it's really referred as CRISPR, and sometimes it's Cas9. And basically, what this is is that it is a specific, efficient, versatile gene editing technology that we can harness to modify, delete and correct precise regions of our DNA, okay? And what we will do is we will look at this video here that CRISPR Therapeutics were kind enough to include in this web page. And we will look at this video and I'll probably pause a few times just to go over a few notes there. But if you guys have any, any concerns about this technology, if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment in the discussion, guys, we respond to every single comment, even if it's just a simple feedback or even a simple question, you guys can always ask them. There's no dumb or stupid questions. Everything is relevant, especially when we talk about these technology companies that even the investors that are investing in these companies don't even understand. So, you know, if you're the average citizen watching this, the average person watching this, of course, you don't know about this. And even we are learning every single day uh, we referenced in our previous video a professor that published a paper and they made a specific note about a specific um, expectation about how this technology is going, going to grow. And ultimately, yesterday, uh, we had a response from that professor stating that they might have to revise that statement in that published paper. So, guys, the space is evolving. There's always something new. And you shouldn't be ashamed as um, as to not understand this technology. Technology, and a lot of people feel that this is overwhelming. But if you just spend a few minutes of your day, if you just try to really sit down, really read those research papers, look at these types of videos, and ultimately uh, try to make your own type of conviction as to if this technology is of interest of you, and if you really want to figure out more. And again, there's many many researchers. Uh, and scientists and doctors involved with this channel alone. So if you guys have any questions, you, can, you guys can always ask this channel in the discussion below. People will definitely help you out. So guys, let's go ahead and let's play this video. Let's see something more visual and then maybe we can uh, sort of um, understand a little bit more how this technology is. Today, most medical therapies aim to treat diseases by targeting abnormal proteins associated with a disease. Usually, these abnormal proteins exist because of mutations in specific genes in a patient's DNA. In the past, we have not been able to alter these genes directly to address the root cause of a disease. However, a novel gene editing system known as CRISPR-Cas9 may allow us to modify, delete, or correct specific areas of our DNA in order to treat these diseases. The system is comprised of two parts, Cas9, an enzyme that cuts DNA, and a guide RNA whose sequence directs Cas9 to a specific location in the DNA where the edit should be made. 
Okay, guys, I'm just going to pause here. So, so far, you've seen that really when we talk about diseases, when we talk about cancers, we talk about these types of issues, you have your DNA. Everyone has many, many DNAs. And in our DNA, if you have a mutation, that's what the word is used, a mutation, that means that you have a specific sequence in your DNA, a specific base that has an error. And when we talk about error, it's something that it is not supposed to be there, right? It's supposed to be something else, right? Regardless what it is, just know that you have a specific, usually your DLA, DNA has a lot of information in it, but there's a specific set of information that is wrong or that was basically mute, mutated. So what that requires is, this is where gene editing comes in, this technology, and it uses what we call the guide RNA to really find that wrong piece of data in your DNA. And then with Cas9, that what it does, what we'll see in the video visually, is that it's going to go ahead and target and cut it. We'll uh, play this video and we'll see um, a little bit more here. Cas9 associates with the guide RNA to form a complex that can be easily and precisely targeted to a desired site in the DNA. The CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing process begins when the complex recognizes and binds to a short segment of DNA adjacent to the target site. This initiates unwinding of the DNA helix, which allows the guide RNA to pair with a specific target sequence in the DNA. If the sequences pair precisely, Cas9 cuts the DNA, forming a double-strand break. Our cells respond to such breaks by activating natural DNA repair pathways. In some cases, a process called non-homologous end joining results in the additional deletion of a few base pairs, which disrupts the original DNA sequence and can cause gene inactivation. A larger fragment of DNA can also be removed by using two different guide RNAs to target separate sites on either side of the desired deletion. Cleavage occurs at each site and the repair process joins the separate ends, thereby deleting the intervening sequence. Corrections to DNA can also be made by adding a DNA template along with a Cas9 guide RNA complex. The template is designed with sequences that exactly match the DNA adjacent to the target cut site. Through a process called homology-directed repair, the cell uses the template to repair the break, thereby replacing the faulty DNA sequence or even inserting a new gene. Okay guys, so what you guys saw here is, I just wanna make sure you guys caught that, is that in this space, in gene editing, usually we use these three processes, disruption, deletion, and correction. And depending on what is trying to be achieved in whatever the company or the team, the research team are trying to achieve, um, they're going to use one of these processes. They're either going to disrupt the DNA sequence, they're going to delete that information, or they're going to correct it, just like we saw in this video. And guys, I will link this webpage in the description below so you guys can always go ahead and watch that video on your own. But guys, I really wanted to really have a quick video about this, um, this technology behind it. I realize there's many new subscribers in this channel and many of you have not subscribed, so please do subscribe if you haven't, but many of you are new subscribers and many of you are not necessarily aware of this technology. And I think really having these types of basic videos will sort of uh, elevate your understanding and sort of allow you to sort of understand some of these terms we use, right? CRISPR, Cas9, gene editing. Um, so what you guys saw is really a video from a company called CRISPR Therapeutics. This is a public company. They don't have a mass market product yet, but we expect that by 2022, they will get approved from the FDA in US and the FDA is the organization that is always behind all the drugs to be approved, whether that's in gene editing, whether that's in other areas in uh, healthcare, for example, the vaccine, everyone has seen how the pandemic go went and the FDA had to be behind some of those as well, right? To approve those vaccines, approve those drugs. So regardless what it is, guys, this isn't anything new in terms of regulation. The only thing new here is gene editing and these companies like CRISPR Therapeutics, there's Antelia, Editas, there's even other companies such as Beam Therapeutics that are also doing gene editing, but they're using a slight different technology. So this, this is where you, you, you can't really understand that before you understand this. So once you understand this, you can sort of dive deeper and get your 
uh, your hands a little bit more dirtier and sort of understand a little bit more how this technology is really playing out. And again, as I said at the beginning, guys, you don't need to feel overwhelmed. It's totally normal. Even people like me, we are always learning. I've mentioned the professor there that has stated that he would be able to revise his statement in his research papers. That's a professor, guys, with many years of experience. That's a doctor who's really studied this um, this space. And even them, some of these terms, they're not sure. Some, a lot of people don't really know where this is heading. A lot of people are not sure. However, this is where, as an investor, we have to look at it at the bigger picture and see the opportunities, guys. This is way early still. Like I said, there's no product in gene editing that is mass marketed but we believe that in by 2022 we will have ctx001 from CRISPR therapeutics with partnership with vertex pharmaceutical which is a big pharma company and they're going to release the first drug that includes crispr cas9 has a as a has a method in that drug to really treat some of these diseases like sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia which are serious diseases that are causing hundreds and thousands of deaths every single day and year, not just in America, not just in North America, but all around the world, in Africa, in less developed nations. So this is a very serious re um, issue, guys. So we really want to address this. And this is why we believe the FDA will definitely be aboard. As long as the data is positive, as long as all the safety protocols are followed, and as long as that uh, there's no sort of... Um, there's no sort of hiccup in these uh, in these clinical trials that are ongoing as we speak. So guys, I'll end this video like this. I really, really appreciate everyone that's watching these videos, guys. Everyone that is subscribed, guys, you guys are Im improving this channel, the community. And if you're liking this video and if you're even sharing it, guys, I cannot thank you enough. This is, uh, this is more than enough. You guys are really, really helping us out here and this is our goal we want to do this for the community we believe that this technology is not covered by legacy media uh, so the only choice we have is to share it among each other on social media platform with our friends and families and with other investors and ultimately we can really address this big 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 issue about diseases cancers world hunger CRISPR and cast nine and everything with gene editing can definitely address the rest those you guys can watch our previous video to really see some of the applications that we talked about whether it's in the vegetation plants animals human therapeutics and so on so guys i'm going to end this video like this i hope you guys have a great sunday hope you guys have a great sunday and we'll see each other in the next video thank you very much